A New Jersey State Assembly Committee has released thousands of documents following its investigation of those lane closures on a bridge connecting New York and New Jersey. The documents reveal an almost immediate backlash and the effort by some of New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's closest allies to keep it under wraps. Elaine Quijano has more. The emails include internal communications among Port Authority officials last September when three access lanes in Fort Lee, New Jersey, leading to the George Washington Bridge, were reduced to one. The messages suggest former Port Authority official and Christie ally David Wildstein was present at the bridge the first day of the closings, and they show almost immediate fallout. That morning, the bridge's general manager emailed Wildstein saying, just got off the phone with Fort Lee Police Department chief who's not happy about our new traffic pattern. The chief asked how he goes about ending this miserable failure. Another email relays concerns by Fort Lee's borough administrator, who told a Port Authority official there were two incidents that Fort Lee Police Department and EMS had difficulty responding to, a missing child later found, and a cardiac arrest. Later emails show numerous reporter inquiries in the wake of the closures, as well as attempts to contain the fallout. The week of the closings, Port Authority Executive Director Patrick Foy wrote a scathing memo. He ordered the lanes reopened, calling the decision to close them abusive, adding, I believe this hasty and ill-advised decision violates federal law. In response, former Port Authority official and Christie appointee Bill Baroni told Foy, I am on my way to office to discuss. There can be no public discourse. Governor Christie has repeatedly denied any involvement. He fired his deputy chief of staff, Bridget Kelly, this week, saying she lied to him about her role in the closures. Kelly had written an email a month ahead of the event that seemed to suggest the move was political payback against Fort Lee's mayor, saying time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. A person close to me betrayed me. A person who I counted on and trusted for five years betrayed me. A person who I gave a high government office to betrayed me. I probably will get angry at some point, but I got to tell you the truth. I'm sad. New Jersey Democrats say they plan to subpoena Kelly as well as any relevant documents she may have. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Elaine Quijano, New York.